Nucleus was discovered by Robert Brown in 1831. It is the most important and prominent part of the cell which controls all the activities of the cell. It is commonly spherical in shape. In some cell it is lobed in structure. In eukaryotic cell it consists of outer nuclear membrane, nucleoplasm, the fluid fill in it, nucleoli and chromatin. Nuclear membrane. It is the double membrane and valve work as the boundary of nucleus. Both membrane have a thin space filled with the fluid. The nuclear membrane is not a complete barrier. It is perforated by nuclear pores which are made up of a specialized transport proteins called nucleoprotein. Certain substances pass freely through these pores between the nucleus and the surrounding cellular substances. Nucleoplasm The nucleus filled with a protein-rich substance called nucleoplasm or karyolymph. It is a mixture of protein, DNA and RNA polymerase, enzymes, nucleotides and some metal ions etc. It also contains stones and non-stone proteins, therefore it is a slightly different in composition from cytoplasm. Nucleolus Within the nucleus is a spherical structure called nucleolus. There may be more than one nucleoli in one nucleus. Their number varies in different kind of cells. It disappears during cell division and reappears afterwards. It is made up of different types of RNA and responsible to synthesize ribosomes. The nucleus contains numerous fine threads in the form of network throughout nucleoplasm called chromatin network or nuclear reticulum. It can be seen only in non-dividing cells. This network is made up of chromatin material that is DNA and stone protein. During cell division, the chromatin network breaks into specific number of threads which start coiling in condensation. After condensation, it becomes chromosome. The chromosomes are thick threads made up of highly condensed chromatin material at the time of cell division. A chromosome in the beginning of cell division consists of two genetically identical threads attached at